NATO Secretary General Anders von Rasmussen says there will be a council meeting next week on Ukraine. CCTV's Jack Martin reports. Well, he began that press conference quite cautious. We heard some of those comments there, but by the end of it, during the question and answer uh, session, he became a lot more candid, a lot more straightforward. And in fact, while at the previous uh, press conferences we've had from Anders Fogh Rasmussen, it really has focused on Ukraine with a sort of diplomatic dance around the sidelines on Russia. This time, apart from those comments, Ukraine wasn't really discussed at all. It was all about Russia. He uh, said in his words that uh, illegal Russian military intervention in Crimea and in eastern Ukraine had led to, again, what he described as a new military situation in Europe. He said NATO could no longer work on the premise uh, as it had for the past two decades, that it was not under imminent threat from Russia. All of that would have to change and there'd have to be a new military thinking. Now, as part of that, he talked about boosting the military powers within the NATO alliance. He said some member states had cut their military budgets by up to 14 percent, and that would have to change. They'd have to start spending again. But he also called for new deployments, new military exercises, a whole new way of thinking. Of course, some of that has already been happening. We've seen the U.S. sending 600 troops to uh, three former Soviet countries, big military exercises in Lithuania over the past few days. So some of this doctrine is already happening. But we're hearing very similar words now coming from Russia and from uh, NATO, both of them saying they're not going to military, uh, launch a military intervention in Ukraine. But really, when we listen to those words, we are witnessing the highest escalation of rhetoric between NATO and Russia since the end of the Cold War.